So you bought it on a drunk night, basically. <laughs> Don't look at me yet! <laughs> <laughs> Meet Thomas and Alexandra. Together with their two boys, Jack and James, they sail a Mariholm 32E. Thomas bought this boat nearly 10 years ago with two friends, dreaming of a big trip. Seven months ago he untied the lines with his family. We talk about cruising on a small boat with kids and of course we'll have a look at their boats. We were looking at the website, uh, I don't know, Yacht World or something like that, on a Friday night. Uh, and we said, hey, this is a nice boat, uh, let's make an offer. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think the next day the offer was accepted. Yeah. You, you bought it with the idea of sailing around the world, right? Um, to be exactly sailing um, to the Caribbean and back. Okay. Uh, I don't think it was around the world. Uh, no, the, the Atlantic, Atlantic Circuit, uh, I was in my late late 20s, um, should have done it, but uh, we didn't do it, uh, there's yeah, of course there's like 100 reasons not to do it, and, and I guess uh, I or we found some of these reasons uh, not to do it. Okay. Um, but we, we kept the boat, we had... Um, we had great adventures on the boat, we had a really nice time. It was all the time in, uh, in Holland. We got to know Holland from the south to the north. Um, it was amazing. So you've had her longer than your, your girlfriend? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. So the boat has seen, seen my life and later our life uh, yeah. evolve. Yeah, quite yeah. special. Yeah. So was it for you love at first sight with the sailing? Like it was your first date with Thomas on the boat, but was it also that you liked sailing for Yes, actually yes. Yes. I, I think it was two times love at yeah. first sight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually yes, yeah. I'm always open for uh, new adventures. And uh, yeah, this was new. I never sailed before. Um, I saw that he was really passionate about it, and uh, yeah, I just rolled in, in it, actually, in his dream, in his passion, and uh, then after a while it also became my, my dream, actually, to, mm. to sail uh, across the ocean, actually. The, the whole boat is not so big, so it's 32 foot, that, that's, um, that's about 9 meters and a half. Um, but we're, I think we're lucky with this cockpit, it's uh, spacious. Yeah. Uh, more spacious than, than other designs of, of this length. So everything comes under the spray hood. So I can, standing here, I can control the the whole boat. So I have my winches here, I have the rudder here that I control with my butt. <laughs> no, it's like or that. even with your feet if you are sitting here. Yeah, even with this. Or with yeah, your feet. Like, uh, yeah. We have the um, spear gun. Yeah, Jack has a spear gun. Yes. If you see some fish, they're immediately they get speared, <laughs> like that. Oh, I missed it, Jack. Again. Again? Yes. Okay. Have you caught anything yet? No. Uh. Yeah. Jack. Whoa. We have uh, some uh, plants, yes. You took the garden. A boat garden. It's yeah. a little bit a board garden, um, but I change it already I think three times in the last uh, seven months but um, yeah I use it a lot, lot actually when I'm cooking or making a salad um, forward follow me is it a nice boat to sail uh, I think so it's a yeah. small boat and um, everything I can do everything by hand uh, like pulling in the, the sheets, I can do by hand. I don't need a winch handle. Uh, everything is very practical. It's not it's not big, so you're you're fast uh, to the front. It's fast 
duck. You have a, a solid dinghy, I see. A hard dinghy? Yeah. yeah. That's the it's the Walker Bay 8, which we use a lot to go to to go to shore. Uh, also we have a mast for it and we have sails for it. So that's that's pretty nice. Yeah, and when we cross the ocean we put the dinghy on top on yeah. deck. Yeah. So it, fits it fits perfectly here. here. <laughs> Did, did it come with the boats or did you uh, have the no. quest to uh I think it was a two year quest to find uh, to find uh, the perfect dinghy yeah, yeah. but we find it on uh, Markplatz in Holland uh, as, as many other things on the boat so but we waited two years for for uh, finding the right dinghy that's one thing we d we we had to do before we left was uh, prepare and make something for the anchor because standard, it was not on the boat. Um, as you can see, this is the original bow roller, and it's it's in the center line of of the the, the, the stay. Yeah. So you cannot put an anchor on it. So we put a U profile to the left of it, welded it, and uh, put a nice Rockna anchor anchor on it just to be safe and it works well when I was looking for for a boat uh, I knew it was going to be be an old boat um, because back then they built the long keel boats um, and I think we looked at more than 100 boats but often they are very dark inside and small cramped this one should be two because it's only 32 feet uh, but it's a Mariholm 32 e and the e stands for extended so the, the coach roof is a little bit raised and this gives some some volume inside so yeah it's very light. It's light, you have standing room. I am, I think, one, 180, so I have some room left. If we want to make it dark, then we just use the handmade curtains of uh, Thomas, his mother. Yeah, blinding the light perfectly. Blinding the light and keeping the warmth actually outside. outside yeah. Yeah. So, so then it stays a little bit cool inside when it's really warm. This is the navigation table, uh, which I like very much because of the of the space uh, I have here. Uh, while sailing, while not sailing in the harbor, everybody puts uh, his stuff on this this only flat surface on the boat. Um, no, um, it's it's uh, it's our nav station, so there is a. a GPS plotter here. Uh, we have our VHF, we have our hand VHF, an EPIRB, the instrument panel which looks like it's self-made <laughs> because it is self-made. Yeah, what's <laughs> nice is that when we are underway we take uh, a sail bag, we put it there we are here looking on the AIS if there is anybody or not and, and if not then, then we're like this and we're like this like all night sitting here and every 10 minutes we go outside and uh, have, a, have a 360 degree look one or two times and we come back here that's the sitting area. Uh, again, I think it's pretty pretty large for such a small boat. Um, it's not only our sitting area. So right now it's sitting area. But what we have, what we do every night, we sleep here. So we put this down. Down. Put this one. Okay. And then it's also. 
Oh, and this is uh, our yeah. hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, perfect. But it transforms really quickly. It For us, it takes quite a long time. Actually. Oh, well, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. it's quickly. quickly. And do it also. Yeah. yeah. And do it in the morning. So that's our daily routine. On this side, you could sleep also. I slept there when we had the boat with three friends. Then that was someone's bunk, this was my bunk, and someone else slept in the in the V-Bird. So, but right now, in, in our family configuration, we use uh, this to, to store things, or to throw things behind. Uh, and the same with the settee here, uh, we, we never sit on it, there's always St stuff on it. Yeah. Yeah. And the galley? As people with boats know, that uh, the kitchen can get messy um, pretty fast because it's not it's not like at home. When you cook, you really have to think uh, that you have to keep things clean. <laughs> at the same time, cooking, you're washing some dishes so that it doesn't get uh, into one big pile of uh, dishes. That's not so nice. Are you gonna show your room? Is this your room? You sleep here with your brother. Which side is yours? You were already sailing a lot in the Netherlands, but at some point you made the decision let's go and untie the lines completely. Go yeah, away. there was a lot of things going on in our life and um, all those experiences, and all those situations together uh, left us with a feeling that something needs to change. We are not happy in the situation that we are living, and um but we had we had a happy place, and that was that was this boat. This mm. was yeah. that was the the red line through everything was this boat. Mm -hmm. It was a place where everybody of our family was uh, happy. It's, just, it's a simple place, yeah. so it's a it's a nice boat. Yeah, but for leaving on uh, on a sail trip for a long time, we needed to cut some strings. Yes. Uh, yeah. And then we, di we, we did it. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, there was like, <laughs> sometimes you have to do hard things, but we knew that we were going to end up here. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Seven months underway. How is it? Is it what you dreamed of? Yeah, it's like, uh, it's more than, than, than what I dreamed of. So, uh, no, it's, uh, it's, it's been amazing. I can't believe we are uh, seven months or 200 days on a boat. I can't believe it's everything I, I dreamt of uh, uh, and more. I think we had uh, our fair share of adventure already. Um, yeah. yeah, time flies also. Huh? You were explaining that you kind of planned the Atlantic circuit. But now, plans have changed, right? Yeah, yeah. It was. It has always been my my dream, my personal dream to 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 sail around the world. Um, and these sailing routes, whether you go around the world or you do it Atlantic Circuit, these are predetermined sailing routes. So you're in the right place in the right season or in the right right month. So. It's like a merry-go-round, either the Atlantic Circuit or around the world. So I knew that when we were going to leave on a sailing journey, we would be hopping on this merry-go-round and maybe eventually doing one of the two, the Atlantic Circuit or around the world. But seven months into this journey, on this boat with two little children we realize that there is some um, that there is a lack of space there is a lack of space 
there is a lack of resources so because there is a lack of space there is uh, not so much water to take in into the boat uh, we try to tackle this problem so our original tank original freshwater tank is 80 liters um, which we've been sailing with for like 10 years and in and then Vigo in Spain in Vigo we decided we found um, a freshwater we found a freshwater tank in a shop and I thought about how to how to fix it into into this boat so and it was a water tank of 90 liters so which would double our um, fresh water holding mm -hmm. mm, still not that much um, that's that's everything we could do to to fit in this boat and especially <coughs> when sailing long distances uh, then it gets tricky because when when you're out of, of uh, fresh water from the tap um, it's not a disaster but it's not very comfortable then maybe also for us the comfort level would be too low and we are already at a comfort level which is pretty low i think in this in this boat we don't have a shower on board we don't have a deck wash um, we don't have separate rooms it's not so big that's another thing <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah if you would have a bigger boat then uh it would be a completely different story yeah. yeah but now also we realize that the children are also uh getting bigger and bigger so we're outgrowing outgrowing yeah. this boat yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah it's uh december right now so a lot of people are leaving now to cross the atlantic we're not going to do this on this boat uh instead we'll stay here we'll yeah, for the it winter was time for um for, for yeah for having more space actually yeah we really had a feeling that we need some space you me as an individual he uh, the children as well it's mm. uh, it was a little bit too it's getting too so for now just here and then I thought you were going to the Mediterranean right that was the idea that's possible yeah, yeah. so next season we go we could we could sail we would like to sail to to the Mediterranean. I think the distances are more appropriate for this size of boat. Uh, again, the longest passage will be like like a week or so, and then in the Mediterranean it would be no problem. So no, that's uh, that's a possibility. But as yeah, as we as we know by now, uh, that's a freedom that we have to to leave or to stay wherever we want yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking uh, just about Las Palmas now actually and because we're going to stay here for a few months I don't know where we are going to no no, no maybe sail. maybe don't don't because we always we, we say like okay uh, uh, and uh, on that date we're going to on that day we're going to but as fast as we can come up with an ID, uh, we that's can also change the ID really fast. That's the beauty of it. So I don't want to think about what is coming within six months. We are here now in Las Palmas and... Um, we live in the moment. Let's try to live in the moment. Yeah. Let's try to live in the moment. Perfect. Uh,